Speed Racer, go Speed Racer, go Speed Racer, go! What is good, gamers? It is your favorite game of Wolf. I am here to help you choose the right car or video game for the racing season. Spring, summer is on the way. Here you go. Here are the hottest racing games. The new releases, I'm giving you my opinions on them. Let's get into it. Blur. I played the beta. I was not feeling Blur. I have this to say to Blur. I'm not feeling you. I'm sorry, man. This car is horrible. Where to begin? First off, you're a copycat. You're trying to look like another car. You're trying to look like Midnight Club, and you are not Midnight Club. Stop trying. You have power ups. You are not. You are not Mario Kart. Stop trying to look like another car. Blur. I'm sorry. I cannot choose you. Go back to your rust bucket. Go back to your used car lot. Not filling blur. Next game. Split second. Split second is nice. The triggers and the explosions and everything is on point. This is me from the um, version of playing the demo. I have not played the full version. But from what I have seen, Split Second is nice. But the only thing I have for you, Split Second, is what happens? What happens if none of my friends are playing? I got online. Okay, that's, that's kind of cool. But really, I'm only going to play Split Second if my friends are playing. If they hype this up, it's cool. If not, then I'm going back to the Wild Wild West. And I'm hopping old school. I'm hopping back on that horse, son. I'm hopping back on that horse. So split second, stay, stay, stay on the car lot. Stay on the good car lot. You're on the good car lot. You're not a used car lot. You're right there. You're right there at like the main dealers. You're at the main dealers, you know, in between. So split second, I'm feeling a little bit. I'm feeling a little bit, you know. It has the potential. Game that I'm feeling the most so far on the release, racing game-wise, Mod Nation Racers. My Nation Racers, you are on point. Why? Customization. I'm sorry. You're just like a Scion. I could pimp you any way. I could pimp you any way. If I want to make custom characters, I could do that. I could make Scorpion. I could make Sub-Zero. I could make Reptile. I could make a Wolverine. I could make Spider-Man. I could make Carnage. I could make Venom. I could make Captain America. You need me to go on and on. I could make my own track in 5-10 minutes. That is hot. That is a Scion. That is a car that you can pimp. That's a Honda Civic. That's Fast and Furious type quality right there. That's what I'm saying. You can easily pimp that car out. So you stay because we could we could mix everything. We could change everything on you. You could start with the basic. Next thing you know, I have lights underneath. I have Nas in the back. That's what not Mod Nation Racers is to me. It is that great to me. So let's go back. You have Blur on the used car lot. You have Split Second at the dealership. Then you have Mod Nation, which is like you have to put in an order to get it. Like they have to do Lamborghinis and Ferraris to customize. That's why I feel. So those are my, on the new releases, the racing game wise, those are the ones that I'm feeling. All right. Now, if you do not want to spend $60 or you're not really sure, still kind of sold, there are some other games that's been out for a while, that's been around the block, that has a few miles on it that you can still think about playing that are still good quality. And let me break into this. First off, Forza 3. It is the comp the competitor of Gran Turismo. This game is awesome. It's a simulation. If you only have a 360, this basically is the premier racing game. So I love it. It's, it's really nice. Online sucks, but if you're playing career mode, that's all you need. You're a solo person. This is the game to play. You have Midnight Club, another Rockstar classic. The game is awesome. It's on point. It's smooth. You also had the add-on of South Central that was free at one point, I believe. Nice. Nice. The main car I think you could find for it still is Burnout Paradise. This was like add-on central. Every time you turned around, they had a new add-on that was reasonably priced. So I think this was like the best deal. And it's now a greatest hit on both systems. So what's your excuse of not getting it? This is a deal, folks. This is like getting 
a Porsche, a Porsche for like practically five thousand dollars, and it's still good, no rust or anything. Get it? Check it out. Fan favorite, fan favorite. This is like the old school Corvette for me. Test Drive Unlimited, and they're working on Test Drive Unlimited too. Atari was on point. <laughs> I love the game, and it sets place in real Hawaii, so that's it. And old school. I don't think no one has this, really. You're hardcore if you have this. You get points if you have this. Old school speed racer, but that's it. That's my personal favorite. But um, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. So hopefully I was helpful on telling you which racing games were really good to pick up. And just remember, drive crazy, drive hellish, hectic, online, in your house, playing video games, racing video games. When you're outside, please follow the laws, wear a seatbelt, don't be on the phone. Life is not a game. I am out. Peace. Till next video. Where is my name?